hi everyone, Lazy Fire here, and we're back in Tomb Raider. Uh, last time we went through a temple or a tomb, and uh, I think we killed at least one guy. Uh, right here we have some ammo. It's littered really all about the island. I don't think I mentioned that before. Alright. Oh yes, rats, huntable. Missed. Alright. See if we can't find these guys. Get this damn gun off me! This section for new players can be pretty bad. You just have to be very smart about some things. Also, I conti uh, continuously forgot that Y is the strangle button in this game. <laughs> and so that's got me killed a few times. Alright. So that light, if I recall, is not shoot out of Smart move is to slowly do that sort of thing. If the light's not on you, uh, you're pretty okay. Uh, right there, I actually hit X by mistake. Yes, this is a stealth game at times. And, yep, right there. I fucked up. I cannot believe I did that. I hit the wrong button and walked straight into this guy. Oh good, and a melee guy's here. Yeah, those uh, melee guys, like I said before, early in this game are going to be a major issue for me because I am not equipped to handle melee right now. But if I keep saying that, maybe uh, the game will give me uh, my upgrades faster. And really quickly, let's take a look here, just at the environment again. It's kind of, you know, desks, uh, decomposing bodies, looks like a soldier body, and a lot of shells and bottles. You saw one of the guys taking a swig from one of these bottles earlier, actually. Alright, so we've picked up some more stuff. Hey, how many are there? These guys don't care. Just gotta be a little smart about this section, which I probably won't be. I can sneak through there, you know? Alright. Hello. You didn't see me. Yeah. Okay. That kind of worked. You can't use this gun once you get up here. That's actually kind of refreshing. I thought there... Fuck me. I thought there was going to be a turret section for sure. Okay. Luckily, these guys early in the game, uh, they don't have a ton of health. So, a couple of solid chest shots should take them out. Uh, but you're actually seeing one of the bigger issues I have with these fire guys, which is that they move around a ton. And that makes it a little hard to target them when my bowstring pullback is taking as long as it does. So, with that, the way forward's pretty much clear. But instead of going up there immediately, salvage and a GPS. Perfect. Every now and again, I remember to do stuff like that. Alright, let's kick our ways up here. Now, remember, we're going to the radio tower in the distance there. World War II era. Probably Japanese. Yes, probably Japanese. Let's zip line our way down here. That's such a completely blind jump. I like the, uh, the old-style electronic equipment here, and if you look close, there's actually, like, handles and breakers on this thing instead of just texture. I really find that interesting because, you know, I, uh, I kind of played, uh, console games for a long time, so I'm not used to that. Alright, let's switch our shoulders. Oh, yes, we're going to be introduced to a pretty interesting little thing that's going to stick with us almost all the game here. Uh, that is gas. The island is apparently built on uh, a fracker's wet dream, and... Oh boy, I forgot. Uh, so there's a lot of these uh, natural gas chambers here. Careful, careful! It's loaded with you! Yeah. Oh, shit. What do they need it for? Generator, probably. For the tower. How the hell are we gonna get it up the stairs? Good question. Let's just leave it here for now. We can get some of the others up front to help us out. 
Fine with me. Let's go. I'm gonna see if I can sneak past these guys. I don't know if that's really possible. No. Yes? Oh my god, this might work. Uh, you're meant to actually shoot that barrel, I believe, but as you can see, I'm not playing by the rules today. And I gotta say, one of the little details I like about this game... Huh. Leg damage, huh? But one of the little details I like about this game is that you see these guys, they're dressed in a pretty good variety of clothing, uh, but as you, yeah, I think an arrow can actually make that barrel explode. Anyways, uh, but they're dressed in a good variety of clothing, um, and as you get closer and closer to the peaks, uh, as they were, you will, uh, you'll see them get progressively more dressed. And right there, I actually... Looks like there's something in there. Uh, I need... Hi. Sorry. Um, I need some fire. I'll show something off real quick. I keep th thinking there's a duck button in this game for some reason. This is a burnable poster. Uh, if I had a torch that was lit right now, I would be able to set it afire. It uh, gives me some small XP, and it's a collectible that you, you know, can pick up through the game. Alright, just making sure I loot all the bodies before I move on here. You can always come back, but you're not going to get those bodies if you come back later. And of course, this section, yeah, yeah, you can't get back out. And there's another poster right there. No one leaves. Uh, get used to that message. Alright. So, the first time, I kept throwing this thing at the wrong thing. What you're supposed to do is toss it in there. Right now, there's not really an effect it's going to have, so just hook. Just make sure you know what you're doing. Yeah. Thrilling, huh? Let's see if we can't climb out of here. It just really wanted you to see how you could do that, I believe. The, that's one of those weirder moments in the game, I think. Uh, because until you do this, there's no real point in being able to pick up that lantern. There's no way to run, outsider! What the hell? Alright, let's get out of here. Yes, the gas will kill you over time, so it's a good idea to get out of those rooms. But this guy is going to be our first experiment with the natural gas exploding. If I make it into that room with one of these throws. That looked like it was good. One of those moments you only get in an LP. Uh, try this again. The explosivity of that gas is generally really, really high. So if there's ever a question on if you should explode something, yes you should. Oh hey, here he is. Go to hell. Yes, our new weapon, the World War II era submachine gun. Uh, when you first get this thing, as you can see, Laura's not a great shot with it. Uh, but it's also not really great in general. Alright, picked up a journal there. You'll see that at the end of the video, of course. Picked up a GPS. And we're about to embark on a fun little thing, which uh, is sort of a shooter, as you can see. Game slows down. As you can see, the reticle on this gun goes super wide when you fire it in succession. So, right now, it's best to take a couple shots. Um, and just then stop firing. Ow, I'm dead. I can't move out of this corner because of the fire. <laughs> okay, now I have to move out of this corner because of the fire. When the game goes black and white like it just did, that means I am near death. Uh, I don't think that's come up before, so it's not been a big deal, but uh, yes, that is a problem. Okay. Right. Until there's 
there's some upgrades in the game that I'm going to pick up, of course, and they are going to make using that submachine gun actually worth something. Hey, look, the other GPS cache. Yay, set complete. Now, I didn't mention this yet, but when you complete objectives and things like that in this game, uh, yes, you can shoot those lights out. Fantastic. Uh, you actually get rewarded with uh, extra art, concept art, stuff like that. So it's if you want to see some of the stuff. Why you set us free from what? This island. Right. So if you want to see all the concept art and stuff like that, you have got to pick up all your little collectibles. Uh, it's pretty basic stuff. I mean, almost every game does it that way, but it's a worthwhile little thing they add. <laughs> Hi there. Yes, uh, the cover system in this game. It's its there. It exists. You just don't use any buttons to do it. I was kind of freaked out right there. And we're going to pry our way out of here. Simple enough? Yeah, well, uh, you're gonna have to find it first. On those old towers, they installed those panels high up. I mean, way high up. Climbing again. Great. <sighs> yes, the radio tower climb. It was actually something. Ah, hey, another journal? Right. So, uh, this is a section of the game that the publisher, developer, really decided to sell as uh, a main, like, a big experience that you're going to go through. And that's getting up to this radio tower and climbing. And this is a neat little on-rail sequence. I really like it. Uh, even if there's not really much for me to do. It's just one of those neat little things the game included. It could have been a cutscene, uh, but instead you have to hold up on the oh, stick. Better work after all this. I don't know why I like it as much as I do, I just do. And yes, it even ends with a slight quick time event. at this campfire. We have a skill point and plenty of salvage. So we're actually going to pop into the skill tree and look what we have now. Yes, the brawler upgrades. Oh, these are my favorite actually. You see, these will allow me to do things. Uh, they're almost all tier 2, but they will, and tier 3 of course over here. Uh, but they will allow me to be more competitive in my fighting. And not until this point here, the axe strikes, does that become actually effective. But right now we're going to take uh, pain tolerance so we can take a few more shots, which is going to be very helpful in the upcoming section, which is the first really big combat section of the game. And then we're going to pop over to gear. Now we have two weapons we can upgrade now. What I'm going to be doing is try to get control on the uh, on the SMG here, and that means things like padding. Uh, that means the muzzle brake, but I have to get other stuff before that. And that means the ejector will be important too once we can actually withstand a lot more firing. Yes, perfect. Um, 
this is going to be very helpful. Actually, let's do this too. This will be actually very good for us uh, in this upcoming section especially. Alright. So we're going to cross this bridge real quick. Yep. Not a single problem. Oh yeah, this is a problem. All right, and the game pulls the pistol out for you. Damn, how many all that? This is easy enough. Yep, just keep moving forward and kill these guys as they appear. No, thank you, sir. And you'll notice that these guys, uh, they're all going to be wearing long sleeve shirts. And they're all going to be wearing thick coats. You're not going to see any of the thin coats from the previous section. And God, if I don't love taking these guys off these zip lines. Well, so much for taking that guy off the zip line. Alright. We're going to switch weapons. I don't want this to become a one weapon game, even though there's only a few of them in the game. Uh, so we will be switching up pretty significantly. Uh, even now, the bow would be more effective than a lot of the guns we have. Oh shit, I forgot about this second. Luckily it's pretty easy. Now, what you can do is go around. Which is uh, kind of what I suggest, actually. Get up here, and you can take out a couple guys. Uh, but, once again, I mean, all you really have to do is shoot that explosive barrel and kind of be done with this section here. Stop her! Stop her! switching. Right now we're not going to see a ton of uh, non-arrow ammo, so we're going to hold off a little bit for this next upcoming section on uh, guns. Oh, I just said we were going to be using a good variety of weapons. Okay, this guy got downed. Let's get over here real quick. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, there are there are finishers in this game. You always pick up a skull that explodes as soon as you hit the guy. Um, but still, it's effective. Alright, let's uh, switch back to our gun. We have plenty of ammo for it right now. Or submachine gun, I should say. And there's a good reason to use it right here. Holy crap. No, they don't have it. And uh, what you saw there with the uh, finisher and uh, what that guy had for a brief second there was that if you uh, shoot somebody in the leg, and this is the thing it said about stunning people er earlier on, uh, if you shoot them in the leg, you'll actually get that finisher message. I don't want to leave this spot. It's a good spot. It's pretty. It's got a good cover spot right here. So hitting these guys with the uh, Molotovs is going to be very important. Okay, a little time for a mini boss fight here. Should have enough ammo for this now. Out of the way! She's left. Yes, the shield guy. Okay, focus. You can do this. You're fine. This is why I'm using a gun right now. Yep. He's kind of hard to do without arrows and without the melee attacks. These guys are not overly frequent, but they're around enough that you kind of have to be careful. And... Right. Oh boy. So that... that guy and a few other... Uh, a few other specific enemies through the game will drop weapon parts. And what those will allow me to do is to upgrade my weapons without having to spend any salvage. It's just an automatic upgrade that comes to the weapon uh, from killing certain people. So, later on, I'll be upgrading my submachine gun and my pistol using that sort of stuff. That is not actually a drone. So, let's pick up a couple more ammo crates. One of the things I like is the ammo crates, if they're next to each other, and you have the capacity for it, will just automatically be picked up. You don't have to keep tapping X till you get them both. Excuse me. But, we're 
almost to the end of the level here. And... Oh, salvage. Right. Let's go back down here. First. Here we are. So let's get ourselves some salvage, and I will show off the poster burning. Because why not? Is it here? I thought there was one here. There's one here, it's just not in this room. Salvage. Thrilling gameplay, I know. And here. Just make a quick sweep. I know it's in this building. Hmm. Okay. So, anyways, there's sometimes a poster here, I guess. Um, so I guess I don't get to show that off. It's upstairs. Hey, look. Bodies to loot. Only the one, though. And another campfire. So, with that, I'm going to call this an episode, and I will see you when we get back from this campfire. A plan is taking shape in my mind. In order to unlock the power of this island, I first need to understand what has happened here. I need time and room to study this place. There are many mysteries here. Foremost of which, the ruins of an ancient Japanese empire and a mysterious queen. It all started with her. Expedition Field Report. Despite loss of two cargo ships to intense storms, the expedition has made landfall. We've established a communication center high in the mountains, and coastal base construction has commenced. Initial surveys have revealed several possible excavation sites. The island is much larger than we originally anticipated, and layered with many centuries of history. The task of identifying the source of the storms will be long and arduous. But if we succeed in our mission here, our victory in this war will be certain. I am alone now. The rest of them are dead. This is for the best. I watched from the cliffs as their makeshift boat was tossed and turned by the storms. The clouds looked like a hand upon the water, desperately clawing at their doomed boat. None survived the wrath of the storm. I observed it carefully. The storm was localized and sudden. And just as suddenly, it was gone. And this is the most interesting detail. It didn't seem random. I sensed emotion, something deliberate. I don't know what's happening on this island, not yet. But if I ever hope to escape, I must understand this phenomenon. Now my real work begins.